Hey, everybody. I wanted to talk to you about some things regarding your experiment this upcoming week. Uh, this is our third experiment, and arguably this is this is the most challenging one that you, you're going to do this, this semester, or so far this semester. Now, a couple of things that are, are worth noting about this experiment is you are starting with or you are working with a mixture that consists of four different things. Now, I'm just going to, you're going to get about two to three grams of this solid, and you're going to separate off sodium chloride, iron pellets, calcium, CaCO3, calcium carbonate, and sand. Okay, so those are the four things that you're trying to isolate. Now, the sequence that you're going to separate them is not as described here, but is described in your lab manual. Now, with that in mind, there are a couple of very important things to consider when you're doing this week's experiment. Number one is you are working with a hot plate. Now, it's pretty apparent and obvious to almost everyone that a hot plate, whenever it is turned on, is going to be hot. Whenever it is not turned on, it could still be hot because whenever it heats up, it's going to stay warm for a little bit of time after you're done with it. So whenever you turn it off and you unplug it, which that's what you need to do, whenever you are done with it, turn the heat dial down to zero, it'll click, it is off, then leave it so that it can cool down to room temperature. So whenever you are around a hot plate, be very careful because you don't know, maybe someone used it in the last 10 minutes and therefore it still could be hot. Okay, so that's the first thing with respect to safety concerns this week. The second thing with respect to uh, using a hot plate is you need to check your glassware. And whenever I say check your glassware, what I mean is inspect it. Let's imagine that this right here is a beaker. This is a plastic cup, but this glass beaker, what I want to do is I want to check the base of it and see if there are any kind of hairline cracks in it. I want to make sure that there are no cracks in it because if you heat up a piece of glassware that has a crack in it, that glass is going to expand and that piece of glassware is ultimately going to break. It produces a mess, but also it produces a considerable safety hazard. So I want you to be very thoughtful of those things. Uh, be careful when you're using a hot plate and after you're done using a hot plate. The second item is we're working with a strong acid HCl, hydrochloric acid. That's a strong acid that can definitely cause a burn. So it's important that you wear gloves and you keep your goggles at it on at all times during this lab period. The third and final thing is your unknown. Now, this isn't so much a safety concern, but... Your unknown has very, very fine particles in it. And those very fine particles produce a pretty tremendous mess. And like I said, it's not so much that you're going to be harmed by them, but we need to respect and have a clean working space because if we don't have a clean working space, then we're producing a dirty and more dangerous working space. All right, well, I hope this is helpful. And please, please, please be very careful. Watch your glassware as you're heating it. Keep a safe distance from that glassware and make absolutely sure that there are no cracks in any of that glassware before you use it. All right, well, have a good one. I hope this week's experiment goes well for you.